Hello and welcome to Yogscast 2. So, um, you may have noticed a little bit Christmassy, got Christmas, I don't know what that was. Got Christmas pudding, 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 pudding and p- p- pudding. Uh, and I, I look a little bit like a hobo because I've got some weird hair thing going on uh, due to the hat. But yeah, it's, it's the first day of Advent. So, this year I'm doing an Advent calendar. The guys are obviously doing an advent calendar as well. I hope they are. If not, I'm going to look silly. But uh, yeah, so it's time for me to tell you the story of my advent calendar. Now, every year, since I was about five, I've always, mum's, my mum has always made me a special advent calendar. Uh, don't ask why, she just does. Um, When I was younger, it was things like pencils for school and novelty rubbers and, like, cool little things for the Christmas tree. Then I went to uni and it started to turn into things like um, herbs for cooking with uh, because, you know, you cook a lot at uni. You don't buy a load of stuff and just eat it as you're walking home. No, you cook food. Um, Mini, mini graters. we still got the mini grater. The mini grater is actually amazing. Um... And yeah, so it's it's kind of developed from me being uh, a child to me being a teenager to me being an adult. And I am 24 and I'm still getting the advent calendar, which is great. I'm not dissing it. It's great. Um, but this year, the guys have basically told me I should share it with you because it's, it's pretty cool in its own weird way. Um, it's a good alternative to chocolate. Like... I don't get me wrong, like I like the chocolate advent calendars, but this is quite nice because it's quite a personal touch. Um, so I'm going to open my advent calendar this year on camera with you guys. I've got Mr. Owl, Mr. Owl's ready with his hat. He's all ready to go. And yeah, um, so <laughs> I'm just hoping she's not bought me anything embarrassing like pants. So if I do open it on camera... Uh, hopefully socks, hopefully that's it and we don't have anything further than embarrassment than socks, but we'll see so uh, let's start let's start with this now this is this is wrapping paper it's got a little Christmas Christmas fairy on it if you know the flower fairies like you might do illustrated poem thing from when I was like five it's kind of a thing that some of you might know you might be too young i don't know go and look it up they're pretty cool um yeah so this is the christmas flower fairies wrapping paper now as far as i remember i've seen this for years i don't know where she gets it from uh, i don't know if she's bought like a, a a bulk pack of it but this wrapping paper has been around for ages and it's brilliant because I like the flower fairies. It's like the only the only girly thing I probably liked as a kid. So, um, are we ready for this? Please, please don't be pants. Please don't be pants. Please don't be pants. What, what is it actually? What is it? It's got, I, It's. it feels like, actually, yeah, what does it, it feels like lots of little things like chocolate drops or, or nuts or something. Oh, it's nuts. Wow, okay mixed nuts so my mum has bought me some mixed nuts which is good because you have nuts at Christmas you have um, what is it you have uh, sort of, uh, satsumas or tangerines or whatever they are and you have like walnuts and you, look, you crack them so I've got some nuts for Christmas that'll be good I can eat those eat those later actually um, yeah so thanks mum who might be watching because uh, I accidentally told Dad about it, so inevitably they're going to watch this. And yeah, thanks, Mum. I'm sort of on the telly, but not. But thank you for the nuts. I will eat them in a bit. Maybe share them with some people in the office. That's all for now. Tune in tomorrow for more Advent Calendar stuff and have a Merry Christmas, if you can, on December the 1st. Bye.